Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, first of all, let me excuse myself for not being with you today. I was planning to be in Barcelona and address you, but unfortunate um, uh, circumstances has, had left, have led me to stay in Brussels for different meetings this uh, week. Uh, and also our board meeting, which will be uh, in uh, Rome at the end of this week to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome. So I'm, I'm really sorry, but I know that um, uh, my colleagues from CMR and uh, UCLG will contribute to this debate on the role of city uh, networks in uh, this globalized world. Um, first of all, let me say that uh, Cities networks were created even before the United Nations and before the ancestors of the United Nations. So that means that the mayors uh, considered that it was important to build relations together even before the nation states decided it was important. And that's a, a very important sign because back in, in 1913, when in Ghent uh, the first network, uh, international network of city mayors was funded, it was just before the First World War, and mayors stood up saying, we can build relations um, beyond borders, we can work together to make this world much more peaceful and to uh, try to uh, avoid uh, a conflict. Um, so uh, this is the, the first aim, and I would like to remember maybe the, 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 a motto that we use very much in, uh, in the Council of European Municipalities and Regions, and it's a motto that was um, said by one of our founders, Mr. Uh, Herriot, who was the mayor of Lyon, and he said once, everything unites cities when everything divides nation states. And that is very true. Uh, we can build relations within cities, we can build relations between city mayors uh, and local governments, regional governments, provincial governments, to support um, better understanding of uh, policies, to, to help uh, others uh, bring new policies in their cities towards their citizens, but also to discuss global uh, issues. And in this particular moment, when we have seen the COP21, when we have seen Habitat 3, when we have seen the adoption of the SDGs on all these matters, everybody says, okay, cities are on the leading, leading uh, uh, line, leading point of, of changing this world. And, in part, and, and, and this is very interesting to see that uh, more and more mayors, more and more local politicians, more and more regions across the world are willing to uh, mobilize themselves, to mobilize their services to learn from each other, to exchange practices, but also to influence the global uh, agenda. I remember back in uh, uh, more than 10 years ago when I started uh, discussing, for example, climate change, and uh, my dear colleague Emilia says we remember those first times when we were going to Bonn to negotiations on climate change, and everybody was looking at us like, but what, what are you doing here? You're, what are you representing? City networks, cities? But this is not a place for you. We are state, we negotiate together. We are representative of uh, our Ministry of Foreign Affairs and we don't discuss with people who represent cities. And what happens now? Everybody is looking after us to, to find uh, uh, new ways of implementing the global agenda on every issue. Last week again, I was signing a, 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 a convention, a text, with a commissioner, Commissioner Cretu, on uh, women's empowerment in, uh, in the world, uh, because it's a top priority. And here, too, we see that cities and city networks are leading. And I would like to take this example. Um, in, in Europe, uh, the uh, Council of European Municipalities and Regions has launched a European Charter on equality of women and men in local life. This was in 2006. Now it has been signed by uh, over 1,600 uh, local and, and provincial governments across Europe, and it is seen as a reference. So is the Charter on uh, uh, Local Self-Governments that is now approved and followed 
by the Council of Europe in Strasbourg, but this document has been established for the first time by the Council of European Municipalities and Regions as the uh, Charter of uh, Local Liberties back in the 50s. It took about 30 years before the state recognized this as a, as a meaningful uh, charter and document. But you see that the work that the city networks, that the, the, the networks of local and regional governments are doing are something that is some, sometimes going very far in the, the shaping of uh, agendas at, of course, continental uh, level, as far as we are concerned in CMR, but also at global level with our partners uh, from other regions and, uh, of course, with the, the support and the cooperation with the global network, UCLG. But we can change the world. If we are united, if we are together, we can influence the global agenda, and I hope your meeting will contribute to that uh, debate. I wish you a very fruitful uh, debate and, and exchange. And again, I'm sorry not to be with you, but uh, I, I will see a, a, lot, a lot of you uh, in the coming weeks, I'm sure, because we always cross into each other at some point. So uh, have a good meeting and see you very soon. Thank you very much.